Uh, you must be Edward Allen. Peter. My name. Uh, you know, it's funny, when they told me your name, I never heard it from somewhere before. See, I work for the paper, and, uh, yeah, I was Eleanor Royster's boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, can you help me grab the rest of my stuff? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, uh, by the way, we were gonna have some, some friends from last year over later, kind of a back-to-school type thing. Is that cool? Sure. Good. <laughs> Last night, do you remember seeing a tall guy with long hair? This guy was like a big, scary-looking guy. He walked through the party, looked right at me, with really weird eyes. No, I don't think so. Why? I know him. How? He lived in my building last year. The guy's just bad news, man. Just stay away from him. Well, I mean, you don't even know if he lives in this building. Well, fuck him, you probably won't ever see him again. Oh, I don't care. I mean, he could live right next door, for that matter. It's not gonna bother me. Well, good. talking about the same guy who you said you saw at the party last night who lived in your building? Yeah. And you saw him again today? I'm sorry. Why? Ed. Do you, do you have somebody you can, like, talk to? I mean, like a psychologist or somebody who you can deal with this with? Look, I don't believe in psychologists. You know? If you have that bad of a problem, you take some time to get over it, and you move on. Jeff, what's up, man? You got a second? Hey, what's up? Nothing. Do you remember the girl that got raped last year? Yeah, I covered that story. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I'm here. Did they ever catch anyone for that? No. 
The cops were talking to this one guy, though. Was he tall guy with long hair? Yeah, that's him. Um, Raymond. Raymond Pollard. Right, well, what happened? Well, apparently he was at a party that night, and a bunch of people saw him there, so the cops let him go. Well, then why would they pick him up as a suspect in the first place? I don't know. Peter. Come on in and sit down, man. Thank you. You said on the phone you wanted to talk about Ray. Yeah. Been through this a million times with the cops, but I'd be happy to give you my little sound bite. The night that girl got raped, Ray was at a party with us. Dozens of people say the same thing. I got some of their numbers. Do you want them? No, that's cool, thanks. There's nothing more we can help you with. You know, it's like, no matter how many times the cops come, or people from the paper come, I can only tell you the truth. And the truth is that Raymond didn't rate that girl. That all, all right, all right then, but why does anyone think that he did it? It's easier that way, man. People feel better. They think they have the offender. Right, but I'm saying for the cops to pick up this one specific person they had to have something to go on. Raymond, Raymond loved her. I mean, they went out a couple of times and then she went back to her old boyfriend. And that's why they suspected him of rape. You see, Ray had a different way of showing his love. After she ended things with him, he started to follow her. But Eleanor never was in danger. It's just as Ray didn't know how to let go, you know, man? So you're you're telling me that Raymond was like, what, well, obsessed with her? That's it, my man. You got it. Yo, Ed, I got some guys I think you might want to talk to. What? What do you want? I want you gone. I want it all gone. I know you. You were Eleanor's boyfriend. Don't talk. Just go away. Eleanor was my friend. I never raped Shut her. Shut up! She should never have even known you. If I hadn't screamed at her that one time, she never would have even known you. But she wouldn't be gone. I never did anything wrong. Shut up! Don't! Put it down. It'll be done. It'll be gone. No, it won't, and you know it. He did not do anything wrong. I've got to face up to this and get rid of it.
again. I never touched her, man. You followed her! You stalked her! What else did he do? If I hadn't yelled at her that one time, she never would have even seen you. And that's gonna bring her back? No, it wouldn't, but... But what? What is gonna bring her back? This? Nothing, goddammit. Don't you see she's gone? Can't you see that? She's never coming back. And he... No, just... not he. Not he. Somebody. Somebody took her from me. Who? Who? I don't care who. I just want her back. And that's not going to happen. Ever. Hey. Hey. Come on, man. We gotta go. We gotta go. Now you can admit it, right? Right again. I should get going. My parents are waiting. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> take it easy. Keep in touch. I owe you everything. Hey, I don't owe you anything, man. You can do just fine. Trust me. Thank you. 